In this video I'm going to show you how to work with fractions on a Sharp EL531WH calculator. And to use the fractions, you use this A, B over C button. So I'll just show you here how this button actually works. So if you want to put in one half, you put in one, and then you press this A, B over C button here, and that gives you this R, and then press two. So this is how the calculator represents the number one half. It can also do these uh, other types of fractions, like one and a quarter, which is 1.25. Then it does this in quite a strange way. So you'd put in one, A, B over C button, then one, then that button again, and then four, and you get this one R, one R, four, which is how the calculator represents one and a quarter. So just be aware of this, so you can understand what the answers you're getting actually mean. So if we do some additions, addition and subtraction work in exactly the same way on the calculator. So if we want to add a half and a quarter, clearly this is um, two quarters plus a quarter, multiplying top and bottom by two so we get the denominators the same, and then two plus one is three. Uh, it's quite simple. So would do 1 AB over C2 plus then 1 that button again to get the R and equals 3 R4 which is 3 over 4 in the same way as that's a half. Uh, you could also do 3 quarters plus a half uh, a half yeah. and that's going to be 1 and 1 quarter Right. Multiplication and division work in exactly the same way. You can just type it in the top here. Like, well, a half times a half is obviously going to be a quarter, so if I just put that in, a half times a half, and that gives you a quarter as expected. Though, where you have to be very careful is when you're combining multiplications, divisions, additions, and subtractions in a single calculation. You'll find that a quarter times a half plus 3 over 4 is not equal to a quarter times a half when you, when you do the times a half plus 3 over 4. When you put these in brackets, that's done first, and timesing the result of that by a quarter is not the same as doing it this way. So you have to be careful when you're combining these that you get the brackets the right way, and you make sure that you're doing the operation that you want to do. So that's how you work this fractions function on this calculator. It's quite an awkward function, but it does get the results eventually. So thank you for watching.